Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a Gerd Steiner Designs design team project using this super cute little stamp set called Long Time No See. So we're going to jump in and get started. We're going to start off by doing some stamping. I usually stamp on Nina 80 pound cardstock. So we'll take our little penguin whose little hat is covering his eyes. I'm going to ink him up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Both the cardstock and the ink are both Copic friendly. And they're my go-to when I do coloring. So I'll zoom in and do a little bit of coloring. Now I left the coloring in and my caps out. I listed, sometimes they're a little bit hard to read. So I did leave them up in the left hand corner for you also. But New Year's resolution was to do a little bit of talking while I color. And so I'll probably flip flop from color, uh, from music to a little bit of chit chat, but I did want to share you with you a little bit a uh, little story since this card reminds me of winter. Um, when we first moved here, um, we moved here from California, and we California. Whenever you buy wood for fireplace, they're they're in cords. Well, when we moved here, we um, surely realized real quickly that they're not called cords over here they're called and we're, we live in the mid, midwest but they're called ricks but when my husband went to go order some cords of wood he noticed that everybody's name in the paper was called rick so when he was ordering it he goes hey rick he goes i'd like to order some wood we want to order a cord well the guy on the phone was a little bit confused because he goes, my name's not Rick. It's actually Jim. He goes, <laughs> so that's, it took us a few times when we ordered our Ricks of wood that everybody's name wasn't Rick. <laughs> and that's, um, that's what they called the bundle of wood that you can order. So that's my story. I just fussy cut out my image here. I hope this gave you a little chuckle, but now we're going to work on our background. I thought we'd pull in a stencil. Now this stencil, I um, came from a 12 by 12 template from Kaiser Craft, and I just uh, quartered them to trim them down so I have four 6 by 6 stencils. So when I link it down below, um, it, you'll notice that the, the stencil doesn't look like this. It's actually a full 12 by 12 sheet. Okay, I'm grabbing my little blending mat here. And I'm going to use, we're going to start off by using some Spice Marmalade. For our background, we're going to use two, two different colors. Spice Marmalade is a real soft orange. And I'm going to blend it with purple. Now, normally that's not typical because the colors kind of could get really muddy. So I'm being really careful. My second color, I'm going to go in with some Dusty Concord, just going around the edges. Once I have that done, I'm going to carefully blend the two inks together. And um, it did dirty up my blending tool a little bit because of the purple with the orange. But I think the outcome turned out fabulous. It really created a, a bright and vibrant background. But once my blending's done, I'm going to spray it with my Distress Sprayer, add some water and a little bit of texture. And then using a towel, I'll just dab off all the excess. Lovely. Okay, we'll just remove the tape off of our panel here and I didn't mention but the panel that I used the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock it it blends so well with oxide inks okay now I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and cut out a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter so it's going to leave me a little bit of a white card base a little bit of a, of a white border on my card base next I'll take a piece of vellum and I could I cut out a little circle that's where we're going to place our little penguin on for my sentiment, for this one, there's a few. There's Hey Friend, Long Time No See, and I Miss Your Face. Um, I thought I Miss Your Face is <laughs> adorable, so we're going to stamp that with some Versafine Onyx Black ink on a piece of white cardstock. And then I was just going to use the Versafine and I thought we'd add a little bit of sparkle. So I used my anti-static powder tool over my cardstock, and then I'm going to bring in some Cloud9 embossing powder. It's super duper shimmery with a little bit of a silver iridescent hue to it, so I thought we'd put that on our sentiment. I'll just grab a piece of scratch paper and go over my sentiment for some sparkle. 
using my heat gun, we'll go ahead and melt that. And then I did use my paper trimmer to block it off. Um, just trimmed it down a little bit. Okay, I have a piece of fun foam here using some double-sided tape. Um, I am going to add this behind my panel. We're going to lift it up a little bit for some dimension. I'll just use my craft pick to remove my tape. We'll place it on the back here. And then we'll remove this release paper and then add this to our card base. Card base is most always, guys, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. So it's a standard size. Next, I'll take some foam squares and we will add some to our little penguin. And we'll just add a few to our sentiment while we're at it. We'll just remove the release paper off of our penguin and place him in the center of our vellum. And then I'm going to pop them up a little bit more. And so just going over the, the parts where I adhered the foam tape on the penguin, I'm going to go behind the vellum. This way you can't see it, but it does add a, a double layer. Now we'll go ahead and add our sentiment. Place that right underneath our little guy as if he's standing on it. And then now we need to add some bells and whistles. So I've been using these a lot lately, but they're uh, some little ivory gems. I just add a few here and there, and it really did pick up the iridescent um, tones of my background panel there. Once we have that done, I'm going to bring in my glossy accents. Um, sometimes with the glossy accents, since I use a fine tip applicator, it turns like a a rusty color, so I always test it out on a piece of scratch paper first, and then I can squeeze it on my project. But I'm going to go over his little bill and his little feet to give them a little bit of shine. And I'm taking out the air bubbles, <laughs> that way they're, it's just nice and glossy. But that's my project for today, guys. Now the Gerdersteiner shop is still closed. They're closed until the 7th. But um, I will link down below to the Simon Says, shop, uh, Simon Says Stamp Shop. They sell this little stamp set. But thanks so much for joining me, guys. Here's some close-ups. I wish you a lovely day. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.